Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Pauline. Today's video is about zusammengesetzte Nomen, German compound nouns. In German, you could combine just about any nouns into new words. And some of these words, I'm telling you, like the length that German words can reach will knock your socks off. <laughs> When forming new words, forming new words happens to a large extent by composing two or more words to create a new one. The German language is pretty famous for its long words. <laughs> and it's mind boggling, to say the least, how you can form new words by putting a bunch of existing words together. Technically, there is no limit to how long these words can get. And when it comes to some of these words, it makes you wonder if the space bar on the keyboard was on a break. <laughs> and I have, a, I have an example for you. For a very long time, the longest word, uh, the longest German word had 63 letters. Rindfleisch, Etikettierungs, Überwachungs, Aufgaben, Übertragungsgesetz. It's a mouthful. When you start to break it down, you see that this is actually uh, several nouns put together. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then you have some S's thrown into the mix to make it flow. <laughs> But enough about that. Today's video is not about mega long words. It's easy going. We're going to talk about very common words consisting of two nouns put together. So if we take the word for glove, handschuh, handschuh, and the literal translation would be hand shoe. So as you can see, two nouns are put together. Hand, shoe, glove. That being said, I don't want you to get distracted by long words. No matter how long the word is, the last word or the last noun in this word is the relevant one because that's the one that determines the article that's the one that determines the gender for this word meaning if it's die der or das and i really want to emphasize this rule this is important and I want you to remember this. So regardless of how long the word is and how many nouns you have, the last one is the important one and that's the one that will determine the article for the word. And we're going to take a couple of examples. So let's take a closer look at the word house. House carries the article das, das, Haus. But regardless if we say Vogelhaus, Vogel is der. But regardless of the noun before, we'll carry the article das because house is das. So let's take a couple of examples. Vogelhaus, Elternhaus, Ferienhaus, Landhaus. They all end with Haus, which means they will all carry the article Das. So we're going to continue with a couple of examples. Die Autobahn. Die Autobahn. It's das Auto, but it doesn't matter. Die Bahn. And it ends with Bahn, so die Autobahn. 
Die Stahltür. Die Stahltür. Der Autoschlüssel. Der Autoschlüssel. Der Apfelbaum. Der Apfelbaum. Der Orangensaft. Der Orangensaft. Das Gartenmöbel. Der Garten, but das Möbel so. What do we have? Das Gartenmöbel. Der Holztisch. Der Holztisch. Der Fußball. Der Fußball. Das Abendkleid. Das Abendkleid. Der Wortschatz. Der Wortschatz. Die Glaskugel. It's das Glas, but die Kugel. So what do we have? Die Glaskugel. Der Schneemann. Der Schneemann. Das Telefonbuch. Das Telefonbuch. And das Fingerspiel. Das Fingerspiel. I would like to end on that note. Until next time, take care.